Hi, this is Luke Abel with Guide My Jailbreak. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 7 using a tool called Evasion. Before we get started, I want to tell you a few things about this jailbreak that are important. The first thing is you always want to back up your device before you jailbreak it. And the way you do that is you open up iTunes, plug in your device, and click on the Backup Now button in iTunes. When it asks you if you want it to back up your apps as well, choose Yes. Wait for this process to finish. It may take a little while to back up, but it's very important because if anything happens to your device, you can always go back to the state before you jailbroke. Another thing to note is you want to make sure you turn off your passcode on your device if you have one. So to do that, go ahead and slide to unlock, click on settings, scroll down until you find passcode lock, and it'll say turn passcode off and type in your passcode and turn that off. This also includes if you are using an iPhone 5S and you have a fingerprint lock, you want to make sure to turn that off as well. It's the same process. Another thing to note about this jailbreak is you want to make sure that if you have previously updated your device using an OTA update to restore it beforehand in iTunes. So let me explain what an OTA update is. An OTA update is when you update your device solely on your iPhone without using iTunes at all. So let's say you're on version 6.0 and you want to update your device to the newest firmware 7.0.4. For an OTA update, you'd go to settings, Tap on General, and then Software Update. If you've previously used this method of updating your device, you need to restore an iTunes before you can jailbreak. To do that, plug in your device into your computer, click on the Backup Now button, and then just click on the Restore button. Wait for this to go through the process, and then when it reboots, restore from backup, and then continue this video. If you don't restore your device on iTunes, and you've previously update your device through an OTA update, it could lead to problems down the road. For example, it may get stuck on the Apple logo when you boot up. All right, so now that you know all those things, let's go ahead and get started with the jailbreak. The first step is to go to guidemyjailbreak.com and get to the page where it outlines how to jailbreak for your device. When you're on that page, go ahead and scroll down and find the link to download the jailbreak for your device. If you're on Windows, choose the Windows link. If you're on Mac, choose the Mac link. I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna choose the Mac link. The process to jailbreak on the computer is fairly simple and it's similar on Mac and Windows. In this case, I'm using a Mac. Um, there's one special thing on the Mac you need to do, but the Windows steps are very similar to the Mac steps. So I'm gonna wait for this to download. After it finishes downloading, go ahead and open it. On Windows, you may see a run or unzip. If that's the case, go ahead and unzip it and double click on the app icon. On Mac, you need to do something special. After you open up that file, you need to hold down the Option key on your keyboard and the Control key on your keyboard at the same time and click on that Evasion 7 icon. Then choose Open. You should see a window something like this and you can click Open again. So now on Windows and Mac, you'll see the same window. The next step is to click on the Jailbreak button on your computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. The jailbreak consists of a few steps. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video to the next step so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Your device will reboot a few times. Make sure not to touch your device or open iTunes or anything like that while this is happening. So the next step is your computer will tell you to continue. Please unlock your device and tap the Evasion 7 icon. Wait for your device to boot up and when it does, go ahead and slide to unlock and scroll and find the new Evasion 7 icon on your device. When you find it, tap on it. After you tap on that icon, the process will continue and you can continue waiting. After it completes a few more steps, it'll ask you to unlock your device again. After you do that, it'll do one more thing and it'll reboot again and it'll say done. You can go ahead and click on that exit button on the computer. Your device will look something like this and there's a few more steps on your device. After your device reboots, go ahead and slide to unlock and find the Cydia app and tap on it. Wait for a few moments while it prepares the file system. After that's finished, it'll show an Apple logo and you can slide to unlock again. Find that Cydia app again and go ahead and choose the user and tap on done. One more thing I recommend doing is tapping on the Changes icon and clicking on that Refresh button. This will get all the updates from Cydia and 
it'll prompt you if there's an update that you need to install. Wait for this to load. At the top of the screen, you'll see it, it's loading. Wait for that to finish before you move on to the next step. When it's finished loading, if there's any updates for Cydia or any apps, you should see a pop-up. Go ahead and tap on Complete Upgrade, and then tap on Confirm. Then it will install all the updates that are available. And when it's finished installing, tap on Close Cydia. After it did that, Cydia restarted and all the updates have been applied. At this point, your device is fully jailbroken and you're ready to go. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our email newsletter. We send out emails whenever new jailbreaks come out and updates. We send pretty infrequent emails, so don't worry about getting an email every day, but we would love it if you could subscribe to our newsletter. Please go to guidemyjailbreak.com email and you can get added. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.